It's Thursday, which means we have a die test review going on. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to review Joseph Newgarden's 2018 number one Verizon Indy car from the 2018 Verizon Indy car series. First keynote before we begin. Green light. What is this? How'd you? This is this is a Lionel meme, isn't it? They're making a meme on Lionel. And it's not opened in any way. I'm showing that it's not opened in any way. Greenlight just put the car somehow like this. I mean, I could do a better job than this, I hope. Anyways, uh, my room's a bit of a mess now, especially my little studio. We're on some customs, my other review, which I did yesterday, I haven't cleaned up from. I had a spider in my room, so I had to write notes, notes last night. I moved it to the guest room because of that. So, lots of stuff been happening around here. Uh, but I'm back in my room now, and I can... Don't know if the spider's gone or not. I just found a glasses case. That's how messed up my room is. Anyways, I'm gonna review the final review of this haul. But even though it was just two cars. Last review I did with San Pagino, number 22 DXC. Technology? What the heck was that? I swear, something just went by my window. I am not kidding. Fell from my sisters. But they're eating right now. Oh, never mind. It actually, it literally is my sister. Never mind. Oh, if they're both running. They're running for their life. Okay, that's how you start a review. Um, let's, let me open this up. I'll be back in it. I need my scissors. Let me be back in a bit, I'll open this up. That freaked me out for a second. All right, let's get this box under review, or whatever you want to call it. Let's get this die cast under review. All right, well, um, it's been four days since I last reviewed the actual car. So I've been busy uh, with an Indy. And um, so let's actually finally begin to review this car, I think. Uh -uh. So, got a nice little case here. On the right way, not backwards. Here's the guard. Pretty much just the regular front we've seen with the Ray Hall and the um, Pageant Dome. On the back of Jeff Joseph Newgarden, his number one Team Penske, birthplace, hometown, residence. Huh, what? I'm surprised it's not an indie. Okay, cool. Joseph Newgarden enjoyed a dream first season Team Penske in 2018. Blah, 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 done. Cool. So let's begin the car now. Oh, oh, okay. So, first thing he notes, my Pagano, it was crooked here on the front end. I forgot to mention that. But, um, let's take a look at this car. On the front nose, we've got Delara, Shell, Pencil, Discount Tire, Rev, Snap-on, Verizon, IndyCar Series 1, Verizon, Chevrolet, Double Bliss, Double Bliss, and we have Hitachi on both sides of the wing plate. On the left and right of the cockpit, we have Firestone. Uh, on the gearbox area, we have Verizon on both sides. A crooked um, digital number displayer with Verizon Indie Car Series on top. In car camera, if you wanted to say it was. Main sponsor, Verizon on both sides. Oh, I just dropped it. Cool. Um, here we've got Chevy, Chevrolet, Fitzgerald's. Firestone, I believe. Firestone tires. PPG on the semi-looking fenders, but these guys don't have fenders. Verizon on the wing. Um, and then we have V Power Nitro plus Shell. Or Shell V Ni Power Nitro plus on the near side of the cockpit. Overall, smooth car. It looks pretty much the exact same as my new garden. Or not New Garden, sorry. Um, power. Let me go get it here. I got it. Oh, I just saw some just kids my GoPro tripod. My room's an apps. My room's a mess. Basic idea. I'm pretty sure on the both of them. Uh, it's only different really I can see right now. It's Devil Bliss on the front. Numbers, of course. The um, Inco camera, I guess you could say. Uh, Will Powers is. Red on top, um, powers is black. Um, what are these? Sunoco, so, so 
Powers has the Snoke badges. Um, New Gardens does not. Sides look pretty much exactly the same. They're straightforward, pretty much. They're the exact same car. Uh, just a couple minor changes. Uh, but I don't mind them. I just hope they make... I, I think they... Have they made a cash drive as one? Um, they can get the full Verizon set. Because I don't think uh, they sponsor a passion home. Overall, though, actually, hold up another point I forgot to mention. Because uh, this is a 500 podium pack, they don't have the number, a digital number on the top. You can see at the just a regular number. Which is weird, because all through the season, I remember, I think at Indy, they had the number plates on, but other tracks, they didn't. Like, Iowa, I know they didn't have. Where am I? Boy, James Hinchcliffe, Canadian uh, one. So that was awesome. Feel from both there, but, um... Of our pretty straightforward, it's pretty gray, easy, basic, but nice in a good way. Um, personally, I thought, I don't know why, at the beginning, I, I like this car a lot more than the uh, Hitachi car. But personally, Hitachi just, it looks so good this year, especially with the aero screen. Let's like see what they do. I think it looks the exact same as Powers. Um, but yeah, come on, Verizon, maybe get like. I mean, although it's maybe their main color gray, maybe I'd like some black and red. Get some red. Like, right here, wherever they have Shelby Power, make that red. See how that looks. Just because. Changes are needed. Uh, but good car. Nonetheless, like I've said before. Found a different, different thing here, it's really nice. So, everyone sees where the Rev Group is and Snap On. Actually, it's just Bosch and uh, Rev also just swapped around. Uh, you can see that this car is more red. Oh, never mind. Okay, sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. So the number and everything else that has black highlighting is all black on this car. And then, see, they do have the red highlights on um, this one. Okay, that makes it a bit easier to tell. So I bet you they maybe have, like, like maybe, like, they have yellow highlights on for um, Helios' car. I forget. I literally just watched that race yesterday, but the, um, 2018 IndyCar uh, Indy Grand Prix. Man, it sounds like ESPN. Um, but drive forward looks awesome. I don't know why, but I kind of, not the new air screen, but when they didn't have him, I kind of want a way maybe to put the guys in the car, you know, like, I think you can do that with the, um, James Hinchcliffe 118, I think, last year. But great car nonetheless, like I've said a million times before, because that's all I think of. Plain, classic. I kind of wish they would added more, though. I just want, like, maybe even just make the whole black. I actually can't. Make something not gray. Because I gotta be honest, now, like, I see, I'm gonna see too many gray cars. Like, in the middle of race, credit to SPN, ESPN last year. I don't think they did this last year, or, sorry. Two years ago. I don't know if they did this last year in 2019. But you can't tell them apart other than the number and a couple of little changes like that. Like, are you really just going to base your information off the number? Yeah, but that's the problem. And then I think I talked about this in the last video. Firestone tires. You know, like... What do you do there? I know. I don't know. Uh, and then... Another thing I wish Greenlight would do is, please, on the race versions, so on, like, the new garden they had, put the good spoiler on, because it looks so nice, but we never have it. I mean, I don't mind the Indianapolis spoiler, but I would like to see what they can do, if they can, of course, um, make the, um, uh, I can't think, uh, make the spoilers different. Like... On some cars, again, if you're making a podium pack, don't change it. But if, I, I don't know, it's, it's, I just wish Greenlight would do it. Championship cars, I think they should automatically have this on them. That's what I'm saying. Anyways, that's all for today's review. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe so you never miss another video. I'm going to continue working on Indianapolis. I'll get back to you guys in another video. I also got these little Fast and Furious cars. They're not even like 187 scale, but I was gonna do a video on them, but it just didn't, it didn't have, you know, the excitement I usually have on my channel, which is pretty lackluster, but um, 
Have a great day, and I'll see you guys all later in the next video, which I don't know what it's going to be. Um, because I'm done with my reviews now, so I'm kind of screwed there. Actually, I think I'm going to be making a NASCAR order in a couple days. Uh, I think it'll look on Thursday, maybe. Uh, so hopefully, 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 those cars come in by the next week after that. And then I can do some reviews. Bop, 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 bop. Uh, cause the haul's also been doing really good. I didn't really want to make a haul out of the, out of this because two cars don't seem like a haul worthy. Uh, my desk is a mess now. You can just see from the dust and everywhere. It's just, I've, I've made it look like it's clean, but if, in all honesty, it isn't. Uh, but who has a great day? Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. So you never miss another video. Put on post notifications. I'll see you guys all later. Look at that outro. Bye.